<laughs> oh yeah. Moist Critical gave Elden Ring a 95 on his moist meter. He said his only, yeah, his only complaint about it was that sometimes the frame rate would drop on the PC version. Okay. Okay, Noah, I know you like Elden drink. Ring. What is good about Elden Ring? Like, okay. why do people like Elden Ring so much? So, it... How do I put this? Like, it looks like a good game. Like, I I, I understand that, like, you just Elden Ring is it. good. No, I, I, it's not my type of game. It, it's just not my type of game. I it, It's patient combat, and that's just not me. Oh. Listen, Elden Diamond? Ring. Oh, it... <laughs> uh, Oh no, your brother. Elden Ring. There's a bunch of reasons why it's good. The gameplay is very good. It's smooth. It's crisp. It responds well. Mm -hmm. The world looks beautiful. Everything is yeah, great. Yeah, no, I, I will say that game is pretty. That game is what, really what pretty. What makes the game, at least to me, is the the world building and the characters behind it. Really? There's like there's characters. Oh, one hundred percent. Oh, a whole I thought it was story. just like. Oh, I thought it was just like kill the guy, kill the guy, kill the oh, guy. Oh no, 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 no. There's a whole story. Interesting. The giant. There's a whole story behind the giant tree and and the queen that's been missing and I, all I don't the mind if you, gods. I don't mind if you explain it, but I, I don't know if okay. there's anyone that like yeah, doesn't want to hear if, it. Yeah, if you don't want to know about the Elden Ring lore, uh, mute yourself. I don't know. Go. <laughs> Yeah, Souls, like Daisy said, Souls lore is something that that is not always explicitly stated. It's something you have to pay attention to, but it's a lot better in Elden Ring. What it was is that that giant golden tree that you see kind of became like the law of the land, and what? there was this queen named Queen Merica. We know, we know what's happening. Oh, child? <laughs> Yo, yeah, you're about to go into the crib. Anyway, 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 continue, continue. I'll, I'll figure this out. Okay. Um, there's a queen named Queen Merica who was basically chosen by uh, her god, which is called the Greater Will, to become like a vessel for it. Okay. Uh, and so she comes and implements the Erd Tree, which is the giant golden tree. And then there is um, uh, Godfrey. Who was a fighter from the Badlands, which is a far away like place from where you play the game? He comes in, marries Queen Merica, uh, and he changes That's his name from Horalu to Godfrey. And they have they have three children: Godwin, who was the first demigod to ever be killed, which was a huge deal. Um, then they had two other kids named Moog, the Lord of Blood, and. Um, uh, what's his name? Margit? Yeah, Margit. No, it's Morgot and Morgot. And both Moog and Morgot were, uh, what, what are known as omens, mm -hmm. which are like kids born with horns. So they lock their kids the way, they, they lock those two away in the dungeon. This sounds incredibly convoluted. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, dude. This, this is, I had to watch a whole series on YouTube about the lore. Okay. This is only a small part of it. Because uh, there's a general from their army named Radagon who marries the Lunar Queen Ranala from Raya Lucaria, which is a school for sorcerers. And they have three demigod kids as well. Ronnie, the forearm blue witch. Um, and you have uh, Radon, who is the giant guy on the tiny horse, who literally, who literally stopped the stars from moving across the night sky. Okay, so it's kind of like a deity thing. Oh, so I, I, I think so... I tried sucking the ball! I swear I tried sucking the ball! Oh, thanks, Daisy. <laughs> yeah, it, it is like a deity thing, but they're not quite born as deities. What it is is uh, their god, the Greater Will, bestows upon each one of them, like, a part of its power, which is called a rune. And um, that makes them into demigods, pretty much. Every time you kill one of them, you get their rune. Uh... And a whole thing happens with Queen Merica, and she destroys the Elden Ring, what? which is like the signifying thing that you are the Elden Lord. She destroys it and scatters its pieces, and you have to go about killing all of her children and all of the demigods to what recollect to the, the pieces ball? and put it back together so you can become the Elden Lord. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose to the stupid baby. Anthony, don't lose to the baby. I just, uh... It's weird because, like... Okay. If you want, I'll send I'll send you the link to the to the series. It's really good. The Elden Ring? Yeah, to the to the to the lore explanation. Oh, okay. 
it's very good. I very much enjoyed the series. It's like six 30 minute videos and uh, covers different stuff. The, uh, the editing is superb. I really like it. Oh, wait. Am I going to be tiny? What? Nope. What the? Oh, yeah. Huh? See? I told you. I'm going to the Oh, I've never seen this before. Really? Oh, giant baby. Yo, what? Do you know who co-wrote Elden Ring? Oh, uh, no. George R.R. R. Martin. Oh, okay. I can kind of see that then. That's why the story is so good. Gotcha. And George R.R. R. Martin, he did crap. Game of Thrones, right? No, that was... Wait. Yes, that was Game of Thrones. Okay, oof. I was about to say, like, I, I, no, I don't want to embarrass I always, myself. I always internet. mix him up with... Uh, oh, God! Tolkien. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh... Suck the balls. I died. No, I... One thing I don't like, the... The controls are inverted. I hate inverted controls. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, wait, we didn't actually get the death screen. What? It's saved, right? Wait, what? What? Wait. Yeah, it's saved. No, I don't think it did. All this is all, all this for your parts done. You just gotta go to the baby room now, I'm pretty sure. Um I don't know about that. Let's see. Did it Um No it did not. Alright, awesome. Oh god. Big thing going around, though. Okay, so this game doesn't autosave. I have to go to Toad, like, all the time if I think I'm gonna die. Gotcha. Alright, that works. How did, South, how did South Park gaslight people about Tolkien? Wait. What? What are you talking about, Octo? Mm. We've never seen South Park. Uh, I, yeah, no. Only, all of South Park that I've seen has been from, like, um, uh, TikTok or whatever. No, we haven't heard. What are you talking about? Wait, no. Huh? Wait, did, did we miss something? Is there, like, internet lore happening? Look, we're too busy talking about Chris Chan to even oh. care about this. Oh, man. No, wait. How far are you on the Chris Chan documentary? Dude, I haven't even gotten past episode three. Really? I haven't watched it unless I'm watching it with you. Man, I, I have really enjoyed the documentary. I, I think, like, 2009 is the peak. Like, right now, it's, like, I don't know kind of sad it's like it's past the point He's of like jail. no well, it's not caught up to current day it's like around 2019 2020 is there's a uh, character named tolkien but they pronounced and spelled it as token oh okay. what does that have to do with anything at least now i know how to solve this get out of here what did that make people think his name was pronounced token or You're trolling me. At least now, like, I understand what people say about, like, every time that you play this game, you will get better at it. Mm-hmm. There's also something satisfying about, like, all the sound effects and whatever. Tolkien and Token sound the same? They really don't. Nah. If I say token, I mean, I'm token on some grass, but if I say Tolkien, I'm going to talk about, like, the writer guy. Yeah, Tolkien. Um, and I think there was a little bit of money over here. On the shelf. No, nah, never mind. Whatever. I'll take the key. Yeah, just in the TikTok. Why, why is he fucking easy. it? <laughs> I told you, he humps everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's even funnier me he's facing away. Wait, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen oh, that? Yeah. yeah. No, I haven't. That's the most famous part of this game. Really? Uh, yeah, that he haunts everything. Interesting. I feel like that is a meme that I've heard of or something. Oh, okay. I 
I've heard that South Park, didn't they, like, it's, it's still going on, but, like, the kids are grown up or something now, and they're, like, not friends. I don't know. I heard people complaining about, like, they're not friends now, or it's, like, sad or something. Dude, I've never cared about South Park. I'm not going to. I've heard it's not bad. I don't like the animation at all, and the voices are annoying. That's fair. Man, what is this, Ruby? I've heard that, like, I don't know, they put a lot more effort into their jokes from what I've heard. Family Guy sometimes will just be like, Alright, we're gonna have this cutaway bit, and it's gonna be, uh, five minutes of the same thing that you don't care about. Like, Family Guy's really funny sometimes, and sometimes it's so lazy. It's just like, yeah, we don't feel like animating anything, so we're just gonna have, like, this silly still image for a while. I wonder what's underneath her dress. Uh, I don't know. Probably ghost. Ectopussy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh that. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. I can't believe we caught up back up that fast. Hey, go save. Oh yeah. The <gasps> baby. The baby. The baby. Goo goo. Goo gaga. She got the baby. <laughs> Okay, the Toto special features them as right? adult make you up, but it was just kind of its own thing. The recent season is still them as fourth oh. graders. Oh, okay. Fourth graders? God, I hate. I don't even care about Most... South Park enough. Okay, so that's what uh, that's what people are talking about. I saw it on TikTok or something. No, I wouldn't. Never I wouldn't compare to a regular it. show. Wait, what? South Park could never compare to a regular show. <laughs> Toad, please. Oh. All right. I even got the notification. Oh, wait, you guys got to see it? <laughs> the notification on my actual desktop that it saved. I mean my GameCube. I mean my Nintendo GameCube where I purchased this game legally <laughs> at my I local Walmart. Adventure Time. I I saw some like I don't know. I, I heard I saw that Adventure Time gets like really lore heavy at the end or like it's like really sad and stuff. I need to like actually finish it. I love Adventure Time. The freaking like Ice King specials at the end, like Ice King and Marceline, that stuff hit. That was nice. Dude. Oh, not like, Simon. Yeah, 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 like that. That kind of, kind of like brought me to tears as a kid. I it, it, oh, it was just like uh, Pirate Bay, nah, bro. Bim's Lair. I mean, not Bim. I mean, I mean, I mean Walmart. I mean GameStop. I mean, I got it at GameStop. Yar, me boy likes ye, so I'll do ye a favor. Oh, boy. Hey, what is the baby? Why? Oh wait, I gotta hit the rocking chair, and then the baby wakes up. All right, what's up? Let's go. It's really weird getting like locked in place and like we can put in the cutscene. Ah. Oh come on! Oh. Down, and then shoot! Got him. The, some of the controls are a little finicky. Um, like, you want to know what's sad? What? This implies that this that this baby died as a baby. I guess so. Okay, that's one thing. Like, my question, like, I don't know, I don't know if whoever, if you believe in whatever laughter life or whatever, but say like in laughter the afterlife. Life? What? That's that's the name of my new comedy special, Laughter Life. Laughter Life. Oh, whoopsie. But like, <laughs> in the afterlife, like, what what version of you will exist? Like, do you get to choose what age you are, or like, the hot one? Or uh, does it, do you get to like pick an age? Like, okay, um, I'm going to, I don't know, be in the afterlife as me when I was 25 years old, or like when I was 20, 25 or 30 or whatever. I know some Christians believe that, like, in heaven you'll be 33 because Jesus died at 33. It's stupid. So, I don't know. I also believe he was white, so... Oh. Well, I don't know if they... Do people actually believe that Jesus is white? Yes, dude. Oh, what? They really... Why do you think they hang pictures of him, do all of the, the, the stained glass stuff where he's just pure white? Well, I mean, that's based off of, like, David's drawing or Michelangelo's drawing or whatever. Which is really funny because he drew Jesus after like one of his gay friends. Yeah. Oh Which my god, he's hopping. Oh my god. Yeah, no. I I think whatever. I digress. You I don't want I don't want to get into the, the the church and the problems with it. I hate. Yeah. 
Because I, yeah. I think there, there are some Christians who are genuinely really good people. The very, very few. I don't know. I wouldn't say that there are very few. Uh, I feel like, I don't know. Most people don't... Uh, whatever. I, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> it's funny baby time. It's funny baby time. Look at him clap. Look at him dance around, guys. This is <laughs> no more serious time. It's baby time. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, I, I screwed the pooch. Dang it. Screwed the pooch. I really screwed the pooch on that one. You gotta suck his binky. No, no. I, I flashed him, but I didn't suck, like, in time or anything. I, I like, that, that was just all on me. Yeah, the rocking chair. Rocking chair is kind of hard to dodge. Or, well, I don't know, never mind. I just need to be paying attention. Just roll. That, that's also another thing I like about Elden Ring is the movement. I, I think it feels really clunky. I really like it. That's just, that's just Souls games. That's just, like, how they feel. Yeah. Suck him. Oh, God. I, stop. Stop. Go back. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, wow, that was generous. Second. That was really generous. Come on, get him, get him, get him. No more phases. Oh, come on! Dodge. Bro, bro looking like oh. Steve Pesci. Steve Buscemi. Yeah, I, I, I mixed up Steve Buscemi and Joe Pesci, my bad. Oh wait, Noah. Um, I know you yeah. like Mac Miller. Have you ever listened to the album Kids? I know I recommended it to you. Do you ever, do you ever listen, give it a listen? Yeah, I try. I just, it's too experimental for me. Experimental? I do not think Kids is experimental at all. Maybe I'm thinking of some. No, I'm thinking of I Love You Next. No, not that's Ariana Grande. I love Life. Thank you. Oh, I love Life. Thank you. I love Life. Thank you is literally just like it's just Weird. stuff that he wouldn't have released. He's been dead mm. for like four years, right? I, yeah, I, it's been I really hate the trend of just, like, releasing dead people's music. Because, mm -hmm. like, that thing with, like, X is just, like, these are things that he's had on his computer that he didn't release for a reason. Like, I understand, like, a post-mortem album drop, like, pretty soon it, after someone dies. If it was something because, like, he was already working on. Yeah, exactly. Like, completing, com completing a project, I think, is good. But there's, there's a fine line between completing someone's wishes and, uh using their name for fame. Mm -hmm. 